Welcome back to Speak English with Sasni at British Centre. Hope you're all doing great. Okay, so in today's lesson, we're going to talk about uh, ways to say what. Okay, and uh, let me tell you, do not say what. Do not use the word what. Okay, so can you tell me, when would you use the word what? Normally, we use the word what when you, um, when you did not uh, understand something or you were not clear of something, right? Right? So, what would you say? So, in English, it's not that polite to say what. Okay, when you did not understand anything or when you're not clear of something, do not say the word what. Okay, that is kind of direct. Okay, direct and a bit impolite. Also, let's say it's rude. Okay, when you just say what, that is kind of, you know, it's rude, it's impolite. We don't normally say what. Okay, so I have some of the ways to say what. That is quick and informal. What do you mean by informal? So informal in, in the sense, uh, you better use these phrases or expressions with your friends or with your family. Okay, not with your boss or with your clients or your, with your lecturers or lecturers, no. Okay, so informal. And then there are some ways to say formal and on the phone. Okay, and then when you are shocked, right? Did you understand? So when do we use this what? When we did not get something, when we did not understand something, when, you're, when we are not clear of something, we just say what? Right? Apne mukha khari theeru netun ham apne ek apart mein kani mukha kda mukha kda kiuwe? Right? Ah, ek tikka khonde na hai. It's impolite. Okay, it's not nice to say. It's like too direct. Right? Okay, so let's get started. So this one, first one, quick and informal. The main dekha, main expressions dekha, apne use karane, apne friends latte ka, family ka te ka hari ma close katya te ka. The people whom you trust a lot, the people whom you are really um friendly with. Right? Good luck. Vishwasamanta. Yaha luwaan na taang kene ke ka thamai. Mene me vage phrases api te use karane. Moka khari diyaak theru ne na thiu na hama. Right? Ekka vidhiak thamai. You what? Huh? You what? Right? You what? Kela eka haanne pula moka khari theru ne na thiu na hama. Moka adda kiu e kiya ne ka. Right? Eka haanne informal. With informal people. Like the people whom you really close with. Api danna khatiya te ka vitharai. Mene me phrases use karane. Rather than just saying what, mukhagda, just what, that is not nice. Okay, you better say, you what? Okay, mukhakaru hari, thagal thagal mukhakari. Like if somebody speaks like really, really fast, then you can say, uh, you what? You what? Okay, and the other one is, what was that? What was that? E mukhagda kiwe, kene katamai, metaning mean karane. Right, that minna meva gede ya kapi boss ke nekta kiye naada. Mukhagda kiwe? No, 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 no. Okay, so you have to use it like really informally, like with the people whom you really trust and close with. Okay, not the, not with the people whom you really respect or the professional people, right? The me magi deya boss connect na thang lecturer connecting hema ha na. You what? Huh? What was that? Heru na thiu na hama me me dekha ha ne na hema, right? Me dekha paavi chikarane among your friends and with your family only. Take a note, right? Okay, and this one is formal plus on the phone, right? The main expressions are we use karane with the people who we respect, right? With the boss, so with your lecturer, with your teacher, or with your client or customer, right? And also you can use all these expressions over the phone, on the phone, right? Ah, uh, first one is I miss that. I miss that. For an example, um, you might like you know you might have a conversation with one of your customers, and your customers say something, but you were not clear with it. You did not understand. So you might say, "Oh, oh well, I, I miss that. I miss that." Okay, right. And then the next one is, "I didn't quite catch that. I didn't. I didn't quite catch that." Me catch ke ane. It's like you didn't hear it. 
right? Ahu na hai, mathe kahu na na, but kya na plan da, right? I didn't quite catch that. So catch means you did not hear it. Okay, so indirectly you're asking to repeat it. Okay, so it is in a situation where you need the person to repeat what they said, right? एक आवास्था वक्त दे अम दे आटे दे आप तेरु नतियु ना हम एहु नतियु ना हम मैंने मैं फ्रेश का यूज कराने पुला in English, right? So what is that? I didn't hear that की नाटे बैडिया मैंने मैं वक एक्सप्रेशन एक आप यूज करने का that is very professional and that is very polite as well. Okay, again repeat with me, pronounce with me. I didn't quite I didn't quite catch that. I didn't quite catch that. Okay, right. So the next one I have for you, that is, could you repeat that, please? Could you repeat that, please? What does it mean? Now, I thought, but I must ekka kiyanu pulu ande. Now, I thought kiyanu pulu ande. Karna karala. Okay, something like that. So that is very professional and that is like you can use these expressions over the phone as well. Supposing that you are in the customer service and you are talking to a customer and customer says something which you did not understand. So you might end up saying, could you repeat that please? Could you repeat that please? Right? So when you are, you know, when you are saying all these expressions, the tone is very important. The meva mehma kiya di. Okay, could you repeat that please? Ah, that's bad, right? With an angry tone, it's really not good, right? With a nice tone, with a very polite tone, you need to say all this, right? Could you repeat that please? I missed that. I didn't quite catch that, right? In a very polite tone. And then the next one is come again, come again. Come again, can you put that informal and formal decade in my use karanama? And this one is like normally we use over the phone. Come again. Come again means I'm at kya na kya na ka. Makak de kiwe, I'm at kya na ma teru ni na ha. Kya na ka tamay. Right? Come again. Come again. Right? You might be like over the phone or like casually, face to face. That's fine. Okay? Supposing that you are face to face, you can say that. Come again. Right? Come again. Okay. And this one. Can you run that by me again? Can you run that by me again? Which means you're indirectly asking the person to repeat what the person said. Okay, because you did not understand what the person said. So you're indirectly asking, can you please repeat it? Okay, can you run that by me again? Right? Okay. And these two expressions we use when you are shocked. Okay, when you're shocked, as in when something, you know, supposing for an example, uh, somebody says, uh, "Are you allergic for cats?" And you say, "Uh, I beg your pardon, excuse me, huh?" Okay, then can it come out? Yeah, cats later, who aren't allergic to cats? It's like unbelievable. Like you're shocked. Of course not. Of course not. I love cats, right? Of course no. Na him na, right? And never get kya di. You can say, "Excuse me." Right? Then can it? Hitana ni kang shock me na deyak. Right? Unbelievable. Right? Hitaga ni bari deyak kyu hama? You are just saying, ah, excuse me. Okay. And this one, uh, I beg your pardon. I beg your pardon. Okay. For example, if somebody asks, hello, are you vegetarian? And I'm like, ah, excuse me. I eat a lot of chicken. I I, I eat a lot of seafood. How would you say that? You are shocked. Okay. So when you are shocked in a situation that something really unbelievable or something which is really shocked, hita gan na bari deya kuna hama, you can use excuse me or else I beg your pardon. Okay, right. And then uh, let's get repeated. Let's go to a quick summary. The first one that is quick and informal. Okay, do remember you use these two expressions with your with the people. Whom you are really close with, with the people whom you are really trust, okay, with the people whom you are really close with, your friends or it could be your family, right? Repeat with me. You what? You what? Okay. Second one. What was that? What was that? Right? You know how these British people pronounce this? They don't say what was that. You know British people they uh, they speak really really fast. Okay, so they might say, "What was that? What was that? 
Okay, they don't even say that. No. Okay, so British people they say this. What was that? What was that? Okay. And then this one, this could be formal or over the phone. Okay. So these expressions you use with the people whom you really respect. All right. The first one is um, I miss that. I miss that. Okay. So this is when you wanna when you want the person to repeat. I mat kina kipu de nevata or the teru ne kinisa nevata mat kian ne kine kata mai me kian. Right? I missed that. Second one, I didn't quite catch that. Okay, I didn't quite catch that. Right? Catch means this is here. I didn't hear what you said. Indirectly, it says I didn't hear what you said. Will you please repeat it for me? Right? Mata teru na, we are kept. Mata ahuni na, amat mati ka kiyane pulu anda. Kine kata mai metane kiyane. Right? I didn't quite hear. Sorry, I didn't quite catch that. Right? And the other one is, could you repeat that, please? Never thee de kya ne pulu banda, right? Could you repeat that, please? Next one, come again, come again, right? Come again can never thee ne ne me, right? This is like sort of a slang term where you use like I didn't hear, just tell that again. Never thee kya ne kya ne katha mai metane kya ne come again can never thee ne kya ne kya ne me metane, right? Come again means you didn't hear it, so you want the person to repeat it. Okay, come again. And the other one is, can you run that by me again? Can you run that by me again? Right. So it means also to say that again, to say, I mean, to repeat it. Okay. And these two expressions you use when you are really shocked or if something unbelievable happened. Okay. Uh, excuse me. Excuse me. Okay. Suddenly, if somebody, um, supposing your friend arranges a party for you, and she calls you and says, "Well, I'm very sorry, Sasini. I'm going to cold off. Like, I'm going to cancel the party," and you'd be like, "Ah, excuse me. You're already shocked because you know, like, you have uh, bought dresses and everything, are really ready for the party, and suddenly, you know, she says, like, you know, the party got called off. The party got cancelled, and you'd be like, "Ah, excuse me." You're shocked, right? Um, and then I beg your pardon. So these two expressions you use when you are shocked. Okay. So take a note. Do not say what when you did not understand something, which is direct, impolite, and rude. So use these expressions if you did not hear something or when you want the person to repeat accordingly, according to the situation. Okay, so I hope you understood, and I will be back with a new lesson. Until then, you take care. Bye bye. If you want to learn real British English, please come to British Centre Gampaha, or you can learn all our British English lessons even from home by downloading Tele Sarasavia mobile app. Thank you very much.